How to install Mac OS on an external drive. Today I'm going to be guiding you through the steps and process to installing a new version of Mac OS onto an external hard drive and have it operate just like the built-in drive in your system. I'm using an M1 MacBook Pro. In this case you will need an external storage device. This could be anything from an external SSD, hard drive or even a USB stick. An external SSD is recommended due to the higher read and write speeds which will give you a much more fluent operating system experience. For the purpose of this demonstration I am going to be using a 32GB SanDisk USB stick. You can use anything from a USB stick to a hard drive or a solid state drive. A solid state drive is recommended due to the faster read and write speeds which will give you a much better experience in the operating system. Once you've got your external storage device ready, make sure all other storage devices are disconnected and then insert the storage device you would like to use. Once it is inserted, navigate to Disk Utility. You can do this by opening the launch pad and then finding the other folder. From there, locate Disk Utility. In the next steps, all data on the external storage device you have inserted into your computer will be erased, so please ensure there is no important data on there as it will be permanently deleted. Now, come to the View tab, click it, and select Show All Devices. Next, Locate the main parent of the USB storage device you have inserted into your computer. Select it and then navigate to Arrays. Click on Arrays and name it what you would like. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to leave the name as untitled, but you can name it anything you would like. Ensure the APFS format is selected in the GUID partition map scheme. Once you have selected these options and named it to your liking, select Erase. The erasing process may take some time. Once the process is complete, press Done. You can now close Disk Utility. The next step is to download the Mac OS operating system. In order for the Mac OS installer to open, the operating system installer that you download must be newer than the operating system you, your computer is currently running. You can check what operating system your computer is running by navigating to the Apple logo and then pressing About This Mac. There you will see what system and what version you are running. Ensure the version you download is newer than this. So for the purpose of this I need to download 13.1 or newer. Navigate to Safari or a web browser of your choice and type in Mac OS download. Navigate to this result here. I have also linked it in the description below. And scroll down until you find the operating system of your choice. Now my computer can only run Mac OS Ventura due to the system it is already running. So I am going to click this the App Store will now open. Press on Get. System Preferences will now open and it will take some time to check for any updates. Once the download has completed, you can close all these windows. Next, you can find the download downloaded installer by heading to Finder, and then navigate to Applications, and you will find here Install Mac OS and the name of your chosen system. Double click this to open the installer. Once it has opened, press Continue. Agree to the conditions if you wish, and then select the device you would like to install the operating system on. Now the untitled drive here is the one that we have formatted which is our external drive depicted by the picture and you can also verify this by reading the available storage amounts. Select your external drive and press continue. 
select a user to set as the owner of the volume if you are on an M series computer. Then press install. Enter your password if prompted. And the install will now begin. This may take some time and it also depends on the speed of your Mac's drive and the external storage device. Now that the installation is complete, you will see a screen prompting you to restart it's your Mac or it will do so automatically. Leave your computer to do this. It may restart multiple times while it installs the operating system on your external storage device. Once this installation is complete, your computer will restart on the setup page of your operating system on your external storage device. This may take some time, depending on the speed of your storage device, it could take hours. Installation has been completed. You can restart your computer and on a M-based series Mac, press and hold the power button until you can view the startup options. The startup options menu, you can see a list of all your computer's internal and external bootable drives. Select your external drive which you have just installed the operating system on. In my case, it is identified by its name and symbol, and then press continue. Your computer will now boot using your external storage device, and you can use it just like any Mac computer as if it was a built-in storage device.